Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Oiwak brand, their 100 feet cable sewer camera with a 9 inch HD display, IP68 waterproof uh, head on here. I'll show you. This is totally waterproof. As you can see, it also has LEDs on there. We're going to show close ups of all of this. This head is really nice, it's spring loaded, stainless steel, and I have one of the adapters on here right now that allows you to go in one and a half inch pipe. Also includes two other additional adapters for four inch pipe. The little screwdriver you're going to need, the one amp 12 volt power supply, and an instruction manual telling you how to use the device. We're going to show a lot of close ups of this so you know how it all works. Uh, but this this uh, this boroscope right here works from minus four degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The uh, higher you put the LEDs, the more heat it's going to generate, and you generally just need very small amount of light. It is fully adjustable, as you can see. I can totally change the light on there to be extremely bright. The whole unit itself, it's right here. I have it turned on. You can see everything right there. It could be stable on a table like this because on the bottom of it, it has rubberized feet, which is really nice. Or you can lay flat on the table like I initially had it. There is a whole control circuit inside here. We're going to show a close up of that. And it allows you to adjust that brightness of that head on there. And also has a video output on there so you can go to another monitor. The monitor itself is very clear and it's an IPS screen so it doesn't, uh, the angle doesn't matter as you're using it. Very, very nice. This has an anti catching uh, mechanism on here that allows you to rotate this and pull out the cable you're going to need. And that way, when you extend it or retract it back, it will actually stay organized so that you can actually retrieve this back just fine. Now in terms of uh, using this and going through different angles, you want to use some common sense. Here is an example. Here is a one and a half inch pipe with a 90 degree on there. So this will allow you to go right in here and I'm going right down that pipe just like that. So for 90 degrees, as you're doing fine, you don't want to go past 90 degrees because you'll have a harder time retrieving it. But it'll work for the 4 inch pipes at 90 degrees and whatever you're looking at at 90 degrees, you'll have no problem. You can push and pull this head through quite easily and just go slow and don't go too much force on it. It'll be fine. Sometimes you want to flush it with some water so that it moves quite easily. Now when you take this piece off on here, so I'm going to use the included screwdriver, let's remove this, comes off, that's that one and a half inch adapter, now you have the head by itself, this is 0.9 of an inch, this head, and it's, you've got that stainless steel spring on there, and again this is totally IP68 waterproof, so this is safe down a meter in water for a half hour if anything happens to it, so this is great, so you don't have to worry about if you're going in a sewer line or something with water, this is fine. You can even go down a toilet bowl if you want. So let's review the specs of this whole system right here. This is a 9-inch screen, as I mentioned. 720p the screen is. And has 12 LEDs on here, which are fully adjustable, as I showed. IP68 waterproof. And this head is 0.9 of an inch in diameter. And again, you have those adapters for the one and a half inch and the four inch. This is a 140 degree viewing angle out of the lens itself. And the internal battery on here is 4,500 milliamp hours and it'll last for up to eight hours, which is excellent so that you have a long amount of time to utilize this tool while you're hunting and looking in pipes and so forth. This is a professional quality. The head goes down minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and it includes a hundred foot cable and this cable is made out of a really durable material and um, the resolution of the monitor itself is 1280 by 600 and this cable that's included is 100 feet on that special non binding rolling device that I showed and the power supply that's included that's powering this and allowing you to charge uh, it's charging the batteries inside her. There's 4,500 milliamp hour battery and that's really a large capacity. It's going to allow this thing to work for a really long time. So here I just wanted to demonstrate how clear the display really is. Now that I have the camera just focusing in on the actual display and you could see the electronic box right there and the monitor so it's a very clear display and you have full control over the contrast and the brightness in the menu so you could adjust it for your liking but I want to just demonstrate how clear that display really is charging is very simple to accomplish it has a 12 volt 1 amp adapter you see it has a red LED on there you plug it into the unit on the side right here and this will turn to green in four to six hours letting you know that the internal battery is fully charged you can turn the unit on while you're charging and you can see it has a display of the battery capacity right there so you can use the unit while it is being charging but it's recommended to charge it independently and then start the unit up after it's fully charged after you unplug the unit after it's fully charged then you have an indicator right there which lets you know the level so each one of these is 25% 25 50 75 100% so you can see I still have more charging to do so here is the box with the battery here's the video out that's going to the monitor and right here is where the input is to the electronics and that's where the uh, the head is where the camera is there's also a video out right here. It allows you to take additional video out if you want to go to another DVR or another monitor. It's right there. There is a nice handle on the unit that is really sturdy. And you could also you could carry the unit with that or hold it on the metal right here, whichever is more convenient for you. And then the top part itself does drop down and allow you to lock it in place like that and so that you can transport it safely to a job site it's very simple to control the brightness of the 0.9 inch diameter head there is a control right here and you can go very little to very bright keep in mind the hotter you run it the warmer it's going to get inside a pipe so you want to use a minimal amount of light it doesn't take much light to activate that 140 degree sensor on there so it doesn't take much at all but you do have full control right here from zero to a huge amount of light on that head one thing that's really nice it has three adapters included this is for four inch pipe there's two of those and this is for one and a half inch pipe this simply goes right over the head like that then it has a little included screwdriver and just tighten this down and now you could easily snake into one and a half inch pipe and then this one is the same kind of an operation. You put that in like that and you turn these to tighten it. And then you could roll this in a four inch drain pipe. That's a really good idea so that it allows it to move more fluidly through the pipe. So let's look at the menu system right here. You can see that there's a menu button right there. You hit that and it shows the first tab right there. You have brightness, chroma, contrast and reset. And you can move down to those different things you hit this again it goes to that right there icon it shows a little hammer and tools choice of English or to flip the image you hit this again and it goes to the third tab right there and you have time setting the next tab is pictures view still and format the SD card or the TF card you can format it for the pictures hit it again and it goes to the last one on the right and that's video there you can view the video format just the video and record audio in that same menu you could format the 
TF card if you want to at this point. If you want to record audio, there's a microphone on this unit. You can go to the menu and scroll through till you get to that video camera image. And you see it on the bottom there, it says record audio. We can go right there. And you have a choice whether you will have it on or off. And in this case, I want it to be on. So that's nice that that's going to record audio so you can do a dialogue of what you're uh, measuring in the pipes and what you're looking at. There is a TF card that is already installed on there. And if you're ever taking that TF card out or putting it back in, you want to shut the unit off before you do that and you push it in or push it back in. So when you power on the unit, you're going to get a welcome screen. Looks like somewhere in Hawaii. And then the menu comes up. Now the camera is active right here. I can move it around and you can see that it's showing motion. Now I already recorded some pictures and video. So to look at the pictures, you want to hit this menu exit button and you're going to scroll through the different menus and you're going to go to the pictures right there. There's pictures. Then you're going to hit record minus and now you have the different pictures there. You could use this to go through all the pictures I took. Then you hit record minus again and it allows you to view those pictures we just took. If you want to zoom in to the image, you can hit that button right there. It allows you to zoom in so that you could see really close. Or you can zoom out and go back to the default position. Now if you want to look at the videos that we took, you do the same thing very simply. You go to the menu exit and you move across till you get to the little video symbol and view. Hit the record minus. Now you have the option to use this button here to scroll through the various videos I took. And then you hit the record minus again and again it comes up and it actually plays. That happened to be just a still right there and I can move across to the other ones. And, that was, and you can see some motion right there. So now I'm playing the actual video that I took. And again, you could take the TF card out, power it down, put it on a computer, and you could read it that way also. And some of the videos I'm gonna show doing that. But uh, we're gonna demonstrate this on a uh, sump pump pipe in my house. And I'm also gonna try it on a drain pipe that's by my furnace. So we're gonna see how well this thing does. Here I'm in my basement and I'm by my furnace and a furnace has a lot of areas that you can inspect using a device like this. So there's inside here there is the ports that do the combustion. I'm going to take this plate off and I'm going to uh, run this through there so I can look at my combustion ports and make sure that they're all clean. Let's take this out. You can see the condition right there of the heater that lights up the flame. And here we can see the flame sense. You can see that there is some brown and some oxidation on there. So I'm going to have to take that out and clean it. And of course, if you're by your sump pump, you can inspect anything where there's water. There is a pipe right there where the water comes in. We're going to uh, inspect that with this boroscope. So now I'm recording on the monitor there. And I have the probe going in. And you can see the whole pipe there. And I can adjust the brightness to get the right picture I want and move this along. So right there, you can see there's a big bunch of blockage right here of something, stones, debris. I didn't even know that was there. Now this probe is not to be used to clean out that, but now I am able to see that I was wondering why this wasn't flowing properly. So that's excellent to let me see what's going on. 
inside this sump pump inlet pipe. And here is a floor drain that sometimes has clogging issues. Now you can see there's water in there because this is where the furnace uh, drains and the air conditioning. So right now I could put it in the water right there and I could see the condition of what's going on in that pipe. I can see if it's clear. Manipulate this to go to where I want to go. So very handy to see if you have a problem. And there is a curve right there that I can go past. And that's a 90 degree bend right there. And I'm able to go past that if I want to and view what's going on. You can see all the sediment in there in the water, which is normal. So that's pretty cool. So after testing the Oiwat brand, their 100 feet cable sewer camera with the 9 inch HD 720p screen, 12 adjustable head LEDs, IP68 waterproof head, and 0.9 inch diameter probe on here with all the attachments and the large battery 4500 milliamp hour. This is a really great product. I'm impressed with it. Just take the time to learn the menu system that I demonstrated and you'll be able to inspect your sewer pipes, any pipes in your house or anything, anything in your car, your home. Sometimes you're going in a wall and you have something blocking and you want to put this in. Anything you could put this 0.9 inch head on here, you're going to be able to inspect and record the videos on this great system. So I like this product. I'm impressed. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There'll be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.